and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of this Google Sheets expense tracker. It's available for purchase on my Etsy shop. It's great for your business expenses and it's also great for your personal finances. So if you're interested, you can just keep watching. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to set the year right here on this cell. So you're just going to set whatever year you want to work with. And then you're going to start creating your expense categories. These have to be unique. If they are duplicate, they will highlight in red. There should not be any duplicates. So this one should be general. And then each month you can go more specific on each individual expense. But right here, category should be general. And then you're going to set a budget for each category. So when you do that, if I set, for example, $20 right here, as you can see, every single one of these columns updated automatically. So it's going to take this amount and it's going to set it by default on every single month. And if you want to manually change a month, all you have to do is set a new amount and it's going to override the formula. And if you ever want to bring it back, bring the automation back, you can just copy any cell that you know is still automated and then you paste it. So as you can tell, Automated cells have this gray background and then manually edited cells have a white background on blue font. So that's how you're going to be able to tell which one was automated, which means it was taken from the budget and just the same amount was set right here and which one was manually set by you. Again, you can just copy and paste and bring the automation back. Now you should only edit the budget columns right here. So on every month, all you can edit is the budget columns because the actual columns are going to update automatically. They are going to group together individual expenses and then they're going to be pulled into this section right here. So you can compare it against the budget. Now individual expenses are going to be entered on each monthly sheet. So what you're going to do is you're going to set a day, the day of the month in which you paid a specific expense. So let's say, the 10th and then you're going to set a description. So maybe you went to Costco and you spend hundred dollars on groceries. As you can tell, if you don't input a category, an error is going to show up right here. And then it's also going to show up right here. So it is really important that you remember to give a category to every single one of your expenses. So let's do groceries. I know it's all good. And as you can see, we have hundred dollars for groceries, which are going to be shown right here. So this number is pulled automatically from this section. And if you went to Costco again on the 20th, Costco, sorry, and you spend another $50 on groceries, then this will automatically change to 150. So the actual columns are completely automated and you should never edit them. If you edit them by accident, then this is going to happen. And all you have to do is delete the cell that you accidentally edited and it's going to come back. If you delete the entire formula by accident, it's going to look like this. So all you have to do is go to the first cell of any other column that is still working properly and you're just going to copy and paste and now it works again. And then if you scroll, so this is going to happen for every single month. Each month has its own sheet and you can just access it with this link. And if you want to quickly go back, you can just go back with this link right here. And then if you keep scrolling all the way to the right, you're going to get the accumulated totals for each individual expense category. So you're going to get the budget and you're going to get the actual amounts. And then if you scroll to the right, you're going to get this table in which all your expense categories are going to be organized from the highest actual amount spent to the lowest actual amount spent. And then you're going to get a monthly ranking. So the month in which you spent the most money is going to be at the beginning and the one in which you spend the less money is going to be at the end. And then over here you have a monthly comparison between budget and actual amount spent. So for example, in January, I have a budget of $308 and I spent 154. So let's go to January. Right here, we have the same $308. And then this is what I actually spent. So let's do $350 for groceries. And now as you can see, you actually spent more than what you budgeted. And you can see that reflected right here as well. And then if you move down, you're going to see the same information, but in this graph. So you have a visual representation of this table. So then let's look more deeply into this monthly expense sheets. So you're, the only things you're going to edit here is this section. So you just have to set the day of the month. So no struggling with date formatting. So you just set any day of the month. 
and then the date is going to automatically show up here. So if you mess it up, for example, if you do 32, it's going to turn red because that's not okay for January. And if you don't set a day of the month, it's going to automatically take the first day of the month. If you set a day, then it's going to use that. Now, this dropdown is built automatically with the expense categories that you enter here. So whatever you enter here is going to build your dropdown. So if I do new expense, the new expense is going to show up here. And I have new expense, actual amount, $1 in January. New expense, $1 in January. Here you're going to get this information automatically. This is going to add up everything that you enter here. And then this section is going to give you monthly stats. So first you're going to see your monthly budget. Then you're going to see the actual amount that you spent, which is going to match this number. And then you're going to see the difference. Again, if you spend less than you expected, it's going to turn green. And if you spend more, it's going to turn red. You're going to have a summary of all of your expenses, and then you're going to have the budget so you can compare. My groceries, for example, are $450 and they were added up right here for $150. So I had a budget of $100 for groceries in January. So that's $100 in January as a budget. So this is 100% of the money I spent. So out of that 100%, 92% went to groceries. So these are percentages of the actual amount that you spent. Then right here, you have the difference between the budget and the actual amount. Again, turns red when you spend more than you expected. And you can sort this table by amount spent, which is going to bring the highest amount to the very top, or you can sort it by expense category. So there's one monthly sheet that looks just like this one for every single month of the year and whatever you enter on those sheets is going to show up in these actual columns for each of the corresponding months so remember you should never edit these columns and then finally you get the specific expense overview so all you need to do is select one of your expense categories from this drop down right here and then it's going to pull a summary for each of the months. So it's going to give you the actual amount that you spent. It's going to give you the budget and it's going to give you the difference. And these amounts are exclusively corresponding to the expense category that you select. And then you have this graph that compares actual and budget amounts. And then down here, you have a breakdown of every single one individual expense that you entered on any given month that corresponds to water, for example, which is what I have selected right here. So in February, I have two individual expenses for water. So I have this one and this one that add up to $4. And then if I go to the specific expense overview, February, I have those $4 right here, this same $4. That's pretty much it. If you're interested, you can purchase this template on my Etsy shop. If you have any questions, please message me on Etsy and I will be happy to help you. And thank you for watching.